Man down, man down. Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. We are building on with the Censored, aka the Coffee Campaign, and we're on with day 22. So just to remind you where we are, the northern front with Zagdidi, the Zagdidi River is still at an impasse. The ground route, uh, the ground forces are both basically facing each other. Of over that river and we've made some progress in the south we've captured Kobileti we've now reinforced it and made a few attacks against the fleet and Batumi which is all very good uh, now we've got a helicopter mission to get some ting done so the first thing I'm going to do is go to overview and we're going to look at the overview we've got here a one map square of a coffee campaign because that's all we're working in today with helicopters it's relatively local so Kobileti mm -hmm. Uh, about bloody time, uh, Cobuleti is the uh, base that we've taken, the blue enclave we have at the moment, and it's all about reinforcing Cobuleti and keeping it safe because it's our foothold in the south. Okay, now what's in fact, we're not going to go to anything further at this point uh, because we've got this uh, coming up later on, but I just wanted to show that it that. It's just that one map square coffee campaign. You can see it's got the SA-11 up there, the um, Sunaki SA-11. We go down, it's got the Batumi Western SA-3 and whatnot, okay? So next, let's move on to NAV. In NAV, we've got a southwesterly wind of two knots and seven knots at 26K. So basically, pretty much no wind and the sky is clear, which is nice. It's been rather stormy lately. Airfields for aeroplanes, which we don't have any, is Gradada and Sukumi, so ignore that. Today we are operating from Kobileti. Now the runway is destroyed, so no airplanes at Kobileti yet, but we do have our helicopters. We also have overlords, but again, not really relevant today. Let's go to intelligence. <laughs> what do you mean there? <laughs> um, stop oh, press. That was funny. <laughs> stop press. <laughs> what? New that was things. funny. Number four, blue naval fleet is still out of action. Red naval fleet is coming back online, so we are tasked with destroying it. However, that's not going to be in this mission. Surprisingly enough, we're not going to attack them with helicopters. Number five, uh, Copyleti runway was destroyed. The choppers are active at the base. The base has also been secured now by one times infantry brigade. Brigade, it's 150 men, and two times platoons of IRVs. So we've got some basic defence there, as well as some uh, man pads. So that's good. No terms. Uh, we nine nautical miles southwest of Kobileti. It's been noticed that uh, via our intelligence tree that two times high value targets are at a stronghold of significant importance. Uh, the uh, our job is to capture or, s in the worst case, silence these guys, um, and to, which will help us secure the Kobileti area. So they are mines basically working against Kobileti. Uh, they are military commanders of the southern guys around the Kobileti area and we want to go and get them, take them out, okay? So we go down to targets. In fact, at this point, before we look at the targets, what I'd like to say is this is the first time we've ever tried this uh, in the Reapers. We're doing day 22, uh, we're doing it twice. We're doing it once in DCS and then we're doing the same day again in armor tomorrow. So uh, it's going to be interesting. And we'll explain how that go. I'll explain how we're going to work that. First target is target alpha. They are the two times high value targets. Location roughly north of Batumi and we do have coordinates uh, to within a few hundred feet or 100 feet. Priority is high. We do have to capture them today. Threats is cap fighters, although in reality I'm not going to allow any cap fighters today because it would be a little bit silly. But uh, as per the roleplay, in theory there should be cap fighters. There will be triple A and there will be SAMs, radar guided SAMs and infrared SAMs we've got to worry about today. Targets are the high value targets obviously. Description, capture or silence, two times high value targets. They are defended by 10 times SA-13 Strellers. 20 times APX, which is meant to say APC, of course. And one times Infantry Brigade. The second target is Bravo. That is an SA3, it's just a coffee SA3 site that happens to be within this grid square. It's southeast of Kobileti. We do not have coordinates on it, we just know it's on a mountain. That mountain is pretty bloody big, or on the hills of a mountain. Uh, so all we have is directions from people that have seen this, uh, and so we're going to have to follow a set of visual instructions to find it. The priority is high, we need it done, and it's a SAM threat, obviously, military, 
on the hills, no defense known of. So as far as we're aware, there's no AAA, etc. there, but we'll just have to see how it goes. Of course, we have the AWACS as a tertiary target, but um, obviously we can't kill it in belly buppers. So let's go to the threat picture and look closer at the actual mission. Oh, I've got to feel minging it. <clears throat> Okay, guys, so this is what we've got to do. We are starting at Cobbiletti. Now, I've included the map up to the north to show that there is SA-11 coverage covering us at Cobbiletti, which is the reason why we don't use our planes there at the moment as well. We're going to have to think about taking it down at some point, but that's not today's task, um, and it shouldn't affect us as long as we're flying relatively low. So, Grim Reapers and Task Force Athena, that's the armor guys, are going to start the mission at Cobbiletti. Task one is to take off from Cobbiletti. At this point, we're going to split into the Elite Force and Standard Force. The Elite Force needs to eliminate the SA-3, which is about 15 miles down to the south, okay? Because that is covering the base. We can't get into the base with that SA-3 in service. So the Elite guys are going to go uh, via visual waypoints, which I've got uh, marked down on my notepad and camera is going to do and not cock up. We're going to traverse our way, and the reason it's an elite force is because we have to do it all 50 feet from the deck if we want to stay alive from the SA-3. We're going to uh, do that um, all the way to the SA-3, and then when we're going to get in close to it, it won't be able to shoot us. We're going to have a gun's hot, nail that SA-3. That's the elite's job, okay? As soon as... In fact, just hold it there. At the same time, the standard force is going to be taking off from Cobby Leddy. Uh, we're going to first load the task force athena on who are the armor guys and you have to actually do it properly they are there to be loaded so mi8 etc get that done then you're going to travel together to lz alpha which is a small village do not go any further than lz alpha or you will get shot you're going to then land all of you land at lz alpha and wait until we've taken out the sa3 and you're also going to dump task force athena there they, that's where they're starting from a couple of miles out from the base when um What's our name, guys? When uh, the Elite Force have taken out the SA-3, we will give order to open fire, uh, for the Standard Force to open fire on the base. That will be two stages. Stage one is standoff. That means the KA-50s or whatever is long range, and the um, Kazels can pop up and shoot the base, and they will be only be taking out the 10 Strellas, the 10 Strellas. And only once 10 Strellas have been taken out, taken out from LZ Alpha, five miles away, can we send the conventional forces in, which is the Hueys and the MI8. Uh, so make sure someone's keeping a log of all the Strellas that have been taken out, because they'll, they'll just kill us completely otherwise, the Strellas. Once the 10 Strellas have been taken out, we're happy. There's nothing there, apart from hundreds of APCs. We send the conventional Hueys in, mop up the APCs and the infantry brigade and anything there, and, uh, and get that done. Once that's all done, Task Force Athena should already have made it to the base by foot and should have secured the high value targets. So once everything is mopped up, we will then recollect Task Force Athena from the center of the red base. They will be mounted properly in the MO8 again. And we will all evac together back to Cobbiletti, unload Task Force Athena again, and then sit down for tea and crumpets. Any questions about that? The, the MI8s are going to have to be conventional. The Hueys will be doing the loading. Sure, whatever. Um, fine. Right. So I'm happy with that. Um, I'm going to pick a leader for the Elite Force. That'll be camera. And in fact, we're going to have a look at the forces in a minute. Aircraft inspected. Expect no aircraft. I've disabled them for today. Yeah, the MI8s would be definitely better for the troop transport just because they can haul so many more troops at once. Roger, we'll just role play it if we have to. Uh, blue forces ignore inventory all I've done is add 30 choppers in so we've got 30 airframes for the uh, rest of the campaign and there will be you know a handful of other chopper missions that we do as we get as we uh, keep moving on so try not to lose those choppers it's very important so that's that guys uh, I'm going to pick some leaders so this doesn't get all messed up uh, in fact tasking I'm going to go to tasking we can see that hammer which is the elite squad is taking out the SA-3 Buick, which is the standoff guys, are going to be taking out the SA-13 Strellas. And you can take out targets after that if you want, but that's what that's what your job is. Sabre and Dagger, the conventional forces, are going to be taking out the APCs and other targets of opportunity at the base. Um, so that's that. Next, we'll go to target images, please. Right, target images. The, this is the red base at the top here. 
We've got going to have uh, forces scattered all over the um, base. It's, uh, it's also a, a small airfield. Uh, slow propeller airfield, 2,000 foot runways. The high value targets are in that building I point to, that complex there. If you're going to take out buildings, fine, whatever. Don't take out that little complex there. That's where the high value targets are coming from, okay? And the SA-3 guys, we don't know where this SA is. I've got no coordinates. I've got no way of telling you where it is. We can't see them on the map. What we do know is there are a series of visual clues. One is a tower on top of the mountain that it's on. It's a big mountain. So we've got to find that tower and then find the SA-3 from there. Okay? Don't worry, Cap. I'll be your B. Next, we're going to go... Next, we're going to go to... <laughs> so he shouldn't be in there, actually. Next, we're going to go to sign up. How did Shadow get in there? That's... <laughs> <laughs> I... You're just gonna get shot. I, I was in there. I put myself in there. Shadow being naughty, I think. The shadows meet shield apparently. Uh, fine. So that's a thing. So I guess Rage, are you gonna lead the conventional forces then? That's a thing. Well, I won't be flying at you, so I guess so. In the close range. Why did you name me Shaded? So your job then, Rage, in that case, is to keep them organised, because what's going to happen otherwise is the Hueys are going to get bored, just fly into the Strellas and die. So you've got to make sure that, um, be in charge of making sure that all of the long-range guys have sniped all of the Strellas before they go in. And don't start attacking the Strellas until we've killed the SA-3 as well. Oh, let the Hueys charge in, it'd be more fun. Yeah, but then I have, yeah, to, please. Then I have to issue bollockings later on, and no one wants bollockings. We can't. Oh, so. Oh, you mean wait till you're done. Okay. Yeah, and don't. You can't just. You can't the Strellas only have 40 missiles, so we should be good. There you go. Um, you you haven't. We can't just keep done. respawning on this because there's a coffee mission, so you have to fly not like a twat. So please don't fly like a twat. Uh, that's, that's all I ask of you. Be conservative. Um, other than that, it should be quite simple. I don't think anyone can cock this up, so it's all good. Any questions before we uh, get organised on the runway? Good luck, fellas. Stagger flights ready and waiting on the right side of the landing choppers here. Well, it sounds like everybody's ready. Can we have sound off from Buick on a ready state, Sabre from a ready state, and Halo from a ready state? We're ready. Uh, same. Buick 2 ready. Stagger flight. Okay, boys, I'm going to take that as a go. Rage, can you take all of your conventional forces? You need to pick up um, a Task Force Athena from the green smoke, presumably. Then you need to go to R RZ Alpha. Sorry, LZ Alpha, which is a few miles away in a small village next to the river bridge. And then let um, Task Force Athena go there and then land and wait for further instructions. I believe so. Yes, the helicopter are ready. We have got visuals on each of the guys in communications. Let them make sure you know where you are. Normally, I would say we should fly with um, numbered aircraft. That way, we could uh, identify each other. Send Kingston. I can't remember. Go and find the uh, village with your F2. It's by a bridge. It's really easy to find. Okay, Rage, uh, you've got six UEs which have loaded Athena. So once you're armed up, you're all ready to go to LZ uh, Alpha and wait. Uh, 
Ten with the cap. Ten. I think one um, friendly thing we need to do, Cap, is getting the um, two pilots to fly in proper formation. That would be nice. I'd be amazed if we ever get there, but that would be cool. It's not hard to do either, it just, just takes a lot of practice. Maybe on the edge, it's a bit of fun, it's not a proper ship. Transport helicopters, be sure you are close enough because you're not close enough. Get closer. Unless you're the close MI8 already, in which case I have no idea. Roger, well, you guys can go, you've got an uploaded helicopters. Hey, firm cap. I'll take our uh, two time stops. Let's go. Cue the uh, Wagner. Yes, sir. Runway is just about two miles to the southeast, uh, southwest, sorry, of our area. Wage, can you come? Just to confirm our flight height will be below 50 feet. Did you have one KFC to come with you? Uh, maybe you're in the ground forces or, well, sorry, the uh, close range forces, yep. Yeah. Well, we're long range, but you've got all this over there. Well, just follow us. Okay, then beautiful helicopters go. Run, boys, give them out. That looks cool, right? Ah, oh, fucking awesome, so that is. Let's <laughs> go down the field. Yeah, they're all on queue. Okay, camera, can you lead us out, please? And remember, we've got to go low because we've got a genuine SAM site. Get ready to get the shit out of us. Copy that, below 50 feet, please. Camera lifting. Two lifting. We're just going to do a trail formation for hammer guys. Choppers flying uh, towards that lake. Just yeah. up to your left, you'll see a bridge head towards the bridge. Good. 
Let me know when you've got tally on that first comms tower. Wires. Yep, the blow up. High wires. Uh, three and four, watch for these wires, go under or over. Uh, you cap, you may be able to see the tower before I do. I can see it, it's right on the nose. Visual, copy that. If you're on a high peak of that hill in front, then I'm on it as well. Just land in that field, drop your infantry off there. Are we, are we going up to it? Yeah, we're actually getting one on the ground, uh, down that's low first of all, but you're on direct heading for it, so just carry on. Lost a man already. Uh, and here we go. <laughs> right, that looks like we've got a casualty there. Oops. Bars ahead. Done, boys. We'll just uh, hold there. Be patient. Hold there. Tally on the tower. Watch out. That's waypoint one. Waypoint 2 is going to be up in the mountains somewhere. Okay, can I um, land and get this off there into Waypoint 2? Roger! Alright, I'll drop us hold in your landing spots in these fields. One landing. Alright, we're controlling. 
controlling the troop. Bearing 177 to the next target. We lost three. No, there are three years on. There are many enemies between here and the second. Um, yeah, so we know it's, it's going to be on that mountain somewhere with the second pole, but we don't know where it is on that mountain. Copy that. I'd, yeah, I advise popping up over these wires. Yeah, I'm just looking with these high trees, it's going to be hard to maintain 50. Agree, agree. Just go over, just do the best what we can. Copy that. Hammer is two miles out from target. We will, but then nothing's gone out. I've been keeping on it. Me too. Drop into the deck after these trees. Yeah, I agree. Should we go around this? Uh, yes. 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 I think so. He's on the same here, that's not him, just further along. Roger, right, keep an eye on the skylines. Right, we're going to have to pop up over the skyline and look for it. We don't think it's got anything with it. Okay. 
for that. So once we get in, we should be golden. Because it has a minimum half a mark. Right, I've got good eyes, so I'm going to have a quick peek over these trees. If you get shot at, it's actually really easy to dodge, just do a sidestep. You don't need to be too aggressive. Okay. Cap. Which may be the first one that gets killed. I see it, it's, like it's on a ledge on the right of the main mountain. Pop your head across and see if you can see the ledge. I see the radar just sticking up. Yep. Yep, I'm just coming out of these trees. On your nose, on your nose. Copy that. Just dip down under over this trough and come straight up on it. Follow this grass up left. Safety's off, get ready everyone. We're probably already within its minimum range, but I'm just gonna be extra safe. Are we close to it? Very close. On that ledge. Quarter of a mile just ahead of us. Tower. Yes, it is. It is the closest, yeah, ledge right in front of us. Just, still just below the tree line, approaching it. Roger. Just coming. Can't be right. coming down, coming down. Roger. Is it, is it where the trees end at the top? Yes, that's where I saw it. I'm going to put some rounds roughly where it is. Oh, there. Right, okay. I saw a flashbang getting into your bullet in the uh, side. Well, guns aren't seeing anything yet. I'm sure I fucking saw it here. I swear it was there. I've got visual on it. Right, fire at wheel guys, fire at wheel, I can't see it. Oh, it's here, I see the radar dish, right ahead of, of um... Get some. Oh, 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 Cap guard check, cap guard check. Okay. okay guys, the, S the SA3 is killed. Hammer, work your way back to the red base to attack it. The Buick, you now have permission to snipe the SA13s. Good luck.
Rage. Statics are charging into enemies. She's going to get shot. Give her a warning. Roger, the SA3 refused. The SA3 refused to shoot for some reason. Yeah, SA3's down, Cap. Where do you want me to go? Uh, please get to the red base and help the boys out. By the time you get there, the Estrella should be there. Do you want to be No, because I'm filming. Uh, just it's the big cross from where you should be. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Copy that. What's your distance from them? Missile out, missile out, missile out. I'd be flare, 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 flare. I bloody warned you. Flare again, flare again, flare again. Flare again. Missiles out for you, get out of there. Oh, they're, they're popping off before you even get to them. Yeah, he looks like he got to get in within a mile. Uh-oh, the helicopter guy crashed. Stick to the plan guys, keep the sniping going, just be patient. Auntie, stop going so damn high, that's why you're getting shot. Right now I'm surfing. Anyone got a kill count on those trellers? Nice hit, the oil tank. Can you fly, please ensure you're firing at the Strelis? CIR, uh, missiles. And for God's sakes, put your landing gear up. Uh, I have killed about four of them, and I think Carol's has killed about two. Keep going. Um, I'm going to have a splash on the edge, so apologies for that. That's going to have a cheeky look from Godview. There are more Strellas, I can see a Strella. Check, check out the troops, Cap. Cap agrees with you, I mean I've only got the same view as you, but Cap agrees with you. Okay guys, the big push is on, don't do anything stupid, be conservative. Go, go, go. Uh,
Man down, man down. Good rockets. Real nice, that's how you do it. Doing real good guys, keep pushing, you're doing real good. We've got a lot of damage, we've lost a couple guys. Yeah, but there's so much less armor down there, like 80% dead. A firm, we're gonna continue to push. 
push. How's the infantry, uh, JD? Beautiful. All units, cap, all units go, hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. Let's see if anything shoots back. Well done, you've somehow destroyed a whole brigade of bad guys and five platoons of uh, armor. That's really good. Get to the middle of the cross, pick up Athena, and we're on our way out. Lost all stability in his chopper. I don't know. Go back, uh, if I Go can. back. We don't need you. It's hell on earth down there, boys. It should be real, but we will have to make it pro roll play if it doesn't work. If this doesn't work, try the HVT building. Yeah. I parked right outside the front. It's very laggy all of a sudden. I think this is HVT building. Yep. Yeah, it's got those trucks outside. Is it scripted for us to pick up or is it going to be Yeah, a bit try pressing F10 and all that, however you do it. I don't see anything there to be picked up. Alright guys, uh, we don't think the script is working for picking Athena up, it's probably just because we don't know how to use it. Just land on the land roughly uh, near the base for 20 seconds. That will pretend you picked them up and then RTB please. So I'll get ready at the base to film you incoming. Land on the runway. I don't know, the guy who made it isn't here, so I can only think. I am in the right place though, yeah? I think so. Okay, camera, you've taken on troops to get back to base. <laughs> Look at King Gary's upside down. <laughs> He's stupid.
All units cap. Uh, should we have everyone land at the green smoke? Sounds good. Okay, everyone, we've got a good marker to head for. Everyone uh, land at the green smoke, please. Welcome back, survivors. Put it down around the campfire, please. Alright, knock it off, man. Fire, Someone will get killed soon, because we'll knock it off. None of the MIAs take you back. These guys are really slow. Back up. Um, no, we're just waiting for the guys to land at the green smoke of the survivors. Alright. There we go, got some troops. Ah, oh, look, Whistler knew how to do it properly. Okay, Whistler, chop chop. Where did you, where did you, where did you get them from? Come off, knock it off. Yeah, well done boys, that, we absolutely scorched that place. So much lead, it's ridiculous. Okay, about half of us survived, so it's better than nothing. Okay, Whistler, unload your package. Just trying not to VRS it. Let's return to base. Mission complete. Well done boys. Before we do debrief to celebrate on three, your full power and eject. One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> 
Ow! Ooh! Ow! Okay, that was pretty. Oh cool. yeah, that was so um. We had a few. That looked sick for the schmuck. Uh, uh, like fucking. A few misunderstandings going on, but we fucking nailed that base. How much lead do we have in the air at once? Must be the most <laughs> most lead we've ever put in the air per second of any mission. So much, so much that I was having a slight show. We killed the shit out of that place. Really? Cap. That was that was. Yeah. I added a load extra, so it was ten strellers, forty APCs. And 18 half inch guns plus a bunch of infantry scattered <laughs> around. And you killed them in about but, four minutes. But I think you run out of helicopters. Cat, that's why the, the troops didn't get there in time. They were just, everything was yeah. dead so fast. I really wasn't expecting that. Yeah, the SA3 didn't fire for some reason. We might have generally dodged it, but it did fire at me in single flare. But never mind. Uh, we did kill it and it all worked. Um, I love that. It's so funny. Oh, I, um, think you, I think you damaged it. Yeah, uh, well, whatever it's done now. But um, and it's funny, yeah, you guys were saying, oh, it's not going to fire, the Strellers aren't going to fire. Suddenly a load of Strellers just come out and <laughs> fucking nail some gazelle. It's like, ha, <laughs> ha, that's what you get. That was pretty funny, because I'd locked it up in my schwan and my K-15, just saw it turn and launch at some point. I was like... Mm. That's cool. Right, yeah. It looked amazing. We'll do some more of these helicopters throughout the campaign because it's, it's funny. It's not you know 100% serious, but it's still you know, it's good fun, good practice for everyone. It was awesome. One of the best Very good fun. That's my first mission. Well done. Any um, any particular funny moments or anything cool? Oh, yeah, when I was flying back to the little cross field, just flying around all these flying torches and nothing was shooting at me. It was just gorgeous. Mm, yeah, that was cool. Fire everywhere. At the end of it, for the last minute, um, I just realized it was you guys shooting. There weren't actually any bad guys left. I was like, hang on, these traces are all our color. And um, yeah, so I got you to hold fire and everything was dead. Like, the enemy had our color too. It was, mm. it was, yeah. It was a bit confusing, wasn't it? It was held down. That'd be crazy if it was like Star Wars yeah, I where they had one fire color. And I slithered onto the mm. ground and ejected. So you, you need more um, MI8s because they've got the uh, green tracers, don't they? Yeah, MA, it's crashed. Uh, respect to the Hueys, uh, they soaked up, as you see in the video, they soaked up damage. Mm -hmm. The Gazelles took like 1762 and its rotor flies off. The MI8 takes one like fucking 9mm exactly. pistol round and its engine blows up. But the Hueys exactly. are like bang, 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 like covered in half inch and they're like, yeah, ah, I took, uh, I took it takes a lot. My uh, co pilot died and I lost my radios, but I was able to finish the mission. Wicked. I was able to RTB with a like barely functioning helicopter, get the pilots Legend. back alive. So we did have some slagging off of the Huey earlier on, but they did the mission. They did the mission, didn't they? Uh, tough with that. Right, guys, well done. Now I'll put a movie together or something and then back for the more serious mission on Wednesday. Cool, thanks, Cap. Yeah, right, Cap. Check you later. Cheers, Cap. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.